Hey you guys, it's Lexi. Today we will be doing my go-to envelope pillow. I will also be showing you guys how to square your fabric. This is super easy and pretty basic, so let's just dive right into it. These are the items right here that you will need to be successful in this tutorial. Please take note and make sure you have all accounted for. So we're gonna go ahead and measure our pillow insert, make sure it's accurate to the measurement we thought we had. Then go ahead and iron out your fabric so it's completely wrinkle free. To square your fabric, you'll want to fold your fabric in half, corner to corner. You can see here in this clip how my fabric overlaps on the bottom and on the side. That is what we do not want. So you'll take your ruler and find the highest point that the fabric is overlapping. Please take note that my ruler is slightly above the overlap. Now take your rotary cutter and begin to cut. As you're cutting, if you need to move your ruler, keep in mind to keep your rotary cutter down at all times, even when you're sliding the ruler. So if you want, you can take your yardage and cut it down so it's easier to use on the cutting mat in smaller pieces as you see in this video right here. For your front piece, use the lines on the cutting mat and your ruler and find 14 inches and 5 eighths. Cut using the rotary cutter. For your back, you'll need two pieces of fabric that are 14 and 5 eighths by 9 and 5 eighths. To create our hem, we're going to take our two small pieces and line them up on our cutting mat. Using the lines, pull back one end of the fabric about an inch to two inches and pin up to down. Repeat for the second piece as well. Now once you are done pinning, take those pieces and go ahead and sew down your hem. Now take your front piece and face it up and take your two back pieces and face them down like you see in this clip. Make sure you check the design of your fabric and make sure they are going with the right flow. If you have stripes, you wanna make sure they're all following in the same direction. Once you double check the design, pin all sides down. Using the 5 8 marker, go ahead and sew. When I'm sewing with pillows and I get to the corners, I will put my sewing needle in the down position and lift my sewing foot up and turn my square. But before I begin to sew, I always create another knot at each corner. Make sure you sew all sides. Once done sewing, now you can trim excess fabric or any fraying ends and clip the corners at an angle. Flip your pillow cover right side out, push the corners out with the end of your scissors while they're closed, and put the insert of your pillow in your pillow cover and you're ready to go. And there it is, that's all. So I hope this was really helpful tutorial for everyone. Of course you can change the measurements for different sizes. I even used this technique to make back cushions for a client of mine. Her Huskies went ahead and destroyed the back part of her sectional and I made these for, as removable cushions for them. Please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Until the next time you guys, take care.